Hi, I'm Luke from Korg, and I'm here today to show you the Volker Modular. This is our take on modular synthesis. And what we've done is we've distilled that concept down into a Volker format so it's easy to use. So this is a semi-modular synth. So what that means is that it works perfectly well without any patching at all, but you can use the patch cables then to reroute signals. And we give you this handy card, which shows you all of the eight different modules they're called, um, and explains what they are. And on the back, you've got some patching examples, which are really handy as well. Okay, so let's dive in and have a listen. So you can play the Volker Modular via this chromatic keyboard here just like on the other Volkers. And what's cool is you can actually change the scale of that as well. You just hold down function and press scale there and we can go into a major scale or a minor scale. And you've got some more exotic scales in there as well to get you going, which is really cool. Um, let's go back to chromatic. Um, so, because I want to show you all of these different modules that we were talking about from the card. So, um, a lot of the terminology is different from what you might expect if you're used to subtractive synthesis or East Coast synthesis. This is West Coast synthesis, which has different terminology. So, for instance, we've got a source section where we can do things like wave folding. So, this is a triangle wave you listen to now. Wave folding basically adds extra harmonics to the sound. And then we've got a second oscillator, which is also a triangle wave. And we can then modulate that first oscillator with the second one. That's called FM or frequency modulation. And it sounds like this. And then you can change the ratio, which is the tuning of one of the oscillators to get that sort of sound. So you can instantly make the sound a little bit more aggressive should you want to. Now, as we said, it's pre-patched and semi-modular, so it's fed out of the source into what we call functions. Now, functions are basically like envelopes, and we have two of them. The first one is pre-patched or normaled, so we can change things like the release and the attack, so we can soften up the attack and make it more snappy. And the release can you make quite long if you want to. Moving on to the next section that's pre-patched, we have dual LPG, that stands for low pass gate. And again, the first one is normal or pre-patched. So this is basically a cutoff, so a filter and a VCA envelope combined. So you can not only adjust the volume, but also the tone of the sound. It gets more bright or mellow as you close it down, as well as affecting the volume. And then at the very end here, you've got a nice spacey reverb effect as well. And you can adjust the level of that to get some fabulous spring reverb type effects. So of course the Volker Modular is a Volker, so it has a 16 step sequencer built into it, which is great. And you can just recall one of the 16 memories by just holding down memory and then selecting them. There's 10 presets and 16 in total. They're all overwritable. So let's select number three there. It'll play a sequence for us. This determines the tempo. And this is linked to the, the section I want to talk to, to you about now, which is the sequences section. And this is responsible for the tempo, but it also has this neat clock divider in there as well. So if I take one of these included patch cables, I can then start taking the output of this clock divider and putting it into the input of my trigger input of the function, which is the envelope. So now what happens is you can hear it's kind of giving emphasis to every second note in this case. Or if I change that, I could put it to every third note or every fourth note. So you can get some really nice polyrhythmic stuff going using the clock divider there. Another one of the modules on this Volker is called Woggle. Now some people know that as sample and hold, especially if you're used to more kind of East Coast or subtractive synthesis terminology. So what this does is it gives you a randomized signal which you can then patch anywhere in the Volker modulus. So I can take a patch cable 
and go out of the woggle and I'm going to restart that same sequence we just had but now I'm going to put the woggle into the pitch so we can get some random pitch going on but I could also put it into say the fold parameter here so you get some really nice steppy kind of stuff going on there you can also send it out of the different waveform of the woggle which gives a more kind of smooth transient between the different effects you can really hear it when I put that into pitch which is a more kind of portamento type effect now it's possible to send that woggle to multiple destinations using one of the other modules that's called split so I can take the output of the woggle into the input I'll split there and then I can send it to two different places at once which is great so let's get another cable and first of all I'm going to send it to fold as we did before because I like that it was sounding cool but I can also at the same time send it to say the space reverb which is great so let's go out of here and into the input and we've got this effect so you can start to hear the sort of animation you can get with your sounds by using the woggle there or the sample and hold as we sometimes call it So we have a second function which we haven't actually used yet and that's useful for a secondary envelope or in this case I'm going to actually use it as an LFO by looping it back on itself. So all I have to do is take one of our patch cables, take the output, put it into the input. So now I've looped that envelope. So that's now effectively an LFO and I can send that anywhere I want. So let's send it automatically to the filter and you'll hear then got a pulsing sound which I can change I can change the attack so I can have it sort of pulsing in or a more spiky kind of envelope so we can actually use this LFO for different things as well so for instance I'm going to use it now to make a kind of uh, vibrato type effect, so to modulate the pitch. So I'm going to use the utility module for that. I'm going to go out of my um, sequence module into A here. This is the utility module. And I'm going to go out of my LFO into B to combine those two signals together. And then that allows me to use this knob here on the output, which I'm going to patch to the pitch to control how much of this effect I want. So I'm going to go out there, into there, and then now you can hear I'm modulating the pitch, and then I can adjust a smoother waveform. Let's add a little bit of reverb. So now I've got a nice triangle wave with some vibrato on it. So I just want to show you a few more uses for these patch cables. So the first one is we can actually hear the second oscillator in its own right if you want to just by patching. So let's take one of these longer patch cables and go out of oscillator 2 which is a triangle wave as well and we're going to go into the second low pass gate there but that sound also needs a trigger so I'm going to take the trigger from function 1 which is the envelope output and put it into low pass gate 2 as well so now when I bring up the volume and the filter you'll hear the sounds are combined and then you can tune them so so one of them stays the same, and this is the tuning of the second one. So you go to like fifths or... third. 
Gottes. So you can make some nice harmonies as well. I want to show you another patch now. So this is using the same kind of patching as before. So we've got the two oscillators, which you can hear separately. Let's load in one of the preset patterns. So you can hear they're playing arpeggios at different pitches in octaves. But I can use the clock divider here to actually give us some kind of different rhythmic emphasis. So I'm going to go out of three into the first trigger and then I'm going to actually move this trigger output to LP2 function number two. And this is effectively the bass kind of sound. And then I'm going to patch into there for number two. So then you get this sort of effect. And then by using the cutoff control, I can enhance this effect or make it more subtle. Of course, we've got a Volker here, so you've got a 16 step sequencer built in, which is really handy for a quick scratch pad, getting ideas down. So hold down function and press clear all, and that'll clear the current sequence. And then I can choose whether I want to record in real time or do step record. So I'm going to choose step record first of all. Hold down function and press step record, and it's now waiting for me on step one to, for me to tell it which notes to play. So. So now I've played in 16 steps, I can play it back, I can adjust the tempo here, I can also overwrite in real time should I want to as well, so say for instance I wanted to put some lower notes and I can go down the octave here, hit record. couple of extra notes in and it's also got motion record so that means I can record any of these parameters into the pattern and they'll be recorded as well which is super cool for adding some animation and extra motion to your sequence so hit record let's put some cutoff in That's now recorded. Maybe I'll put some fold in as well. And maybe even some reverb. So you can hear already how that's made that sequence come to life even more. And then once you've finished, if you want to save it, it's just function, memory, and then you can save into any one of these 16 locations. So as you can see, I've brought in an SQ1 here. So this is our little sequencer, um, which transmits CV, control voltages, which can be pitch, it can be gate, it could be modulations. In this case, it's pitch. So I'm sending the pitch from this sequencer into the vocal modular via the CV in, and then I'm sending that voltage into the pitch into the source, so to tell it what pitches to play. And then I'm also going to give it a trigger input, like a drone, if you like, from the sequence out here. And then when I start the sequence, it will tell the Vulcan modular which pitches to play, and also which tempo as well. So another great feature about this CV input is it can actually double up as just an audio input so you can connect any audio device. I've got a Volker drum here which works great. So just with a simple bit of patching as you can see here from the CV out into the input there, I can now hear my external device very easily. And you do need this connection because if I break it you can hear it disappears. You can even by an extra bit of patching, by going into the low pass gate here, 
use the utility module here as a volume control. So let's grab another patch cable and let's go out of the utility module into the low pass gate. And now when I play it back, this is my volume control. You've also got sync in and out here on the Volca modular, and this is great because you get a cable included, a sync cable, and that allows you to get the timing in sync between two different units. So I can go sync out of my Volca drum, which will dictate the tempo, and into my Volca modular. So then when I press play on both, they'll be in sync. And because of the way I've patched it here, I've got independent control over the volumes of both parts as well. Other connections you've got on your Vulcan modular, obviously you've got your audio output. Now this is a stereo mini jack. This doubles up as a headphone jack as well. If you take that out, you'll hear the internal speaker automatically as well, which can be really handy if you're on the move. And power wise, we're powering it via the included batteries, but you can use a KA350 UK power supply, or you could get a Volca mix, which will mix the signals of three Volcas together and power them simultaneously. So there you go, that's your Volca modular. Let's go and check it out.